Hi, we will through Padlet. In this video, I will relate my experience of using a learning tool called Padlet to enhance the learning of dentistry students through PBL. I am Shaju, Holy Court to Shaju Jacob, a faculty in School of Dentistry, International Medical University, IMA. Let me take through my experience. So this video will answer these three basic questions. Why PBL needs Padlet? What is Padlet basically? How it can enhance the learning of PBL? And what is my experience of using Padlet in PBL? What is PBL? And how is it conducted in School of Dentistry, International Medical University? So PBL has a problem, an authentic problem. Usually a clinical scenario related to the dental field. And this is explored by the students. So PBL has two sessions. In the first session, the problem is presented to a group of students, usually about seven to eight in number, and they explore and brainstorm the problem. Their aim is to find solution to the problem, solve the problem. Through solving of the problem, they learn a lot which they had done before. So in between solving the problem, they generate hypotheses because they have lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge to generate solutions. So what they do is they generate the hypothesis. The hypothesis are something which they are not sure of, but they think probably these are the solutions. And they should test the hypothesis, verify the hypothesis, either prove it or disprove it. How they prove it or disprove it? By gaining more knowledge. And hence, they identify the gaps in knowledge and list them as learning issues. So they generate a series of learning issues, which they will learn together, share together, and then help solve the problem together. So the students learn, share, and then learn as a group. In IMU SOD, the in-between sessions, the two sessions of PBL, in the first session, they explore and identify the learning issues. In between the two sessions of the PBL, they gather materials and learn about the problem and they learn about the learning issues. And finally, in the second session of the same PBL, what they do is they present all the learning issues and help solve the problem. So in School of Dentistry, the in-between period of the two sessions, they use the online shared Word document. So what is the purpose of this Word document? So the Word document is a collaborative learning tool for them. So all the students have to populate their learning material related to the learning issues assigned to each of them. So they put it in a single document wherein everyone can look into it. They can populate it, they can edit it, they can comment on it, and they can modify it. All at any time and in real time they can do it. So every student will know what the other student is doing and they will learn from the other student. And once they have shared everything, they use this to present it in the second part of the PBL. So this is how the PBL goes on in School of Dentistry. So this put in me a thought whether there was active collaboration or effective collaboration happening in the students. I found that the word document as such was more static. And it could take in only texts as materials. And the provision of commenting was also limited in this. So what I thought about was using Padlet. So what is Padlet? Padlet is a web 2.0 learning tool. It enhances collaboration. It enhances participation. How it does this, the format of the Padlet is such a way that there are different, different posts into it. So everyone can create a post into it and put some material into it. And this post can accommodate various materials like a presentation slides, PowerPoint slides, lectures, audio clips, videos, references in any file format like PDF or Word document, doubts, clarification, and everything can be accommodated in this post. The feature of this post is this post allows commenting. So the post can generate comments. Comments would be questions asked or replies, suggestions, or advices given for that post. So the author can see the comment and then he could form a reply to it. This I thought could be a more effective learning tool for the PBL. So what uh, uh, we decided was among our students and uh, me as a facilitator was we'll create a Padlet and use this as a learning tool. So the Padlet we created is given as a link in this video and is also shown in this video on the sign. So it is padlet.com slash slash PBL2. So how did my experience go? So the first session went on as usual. Right? 
we explored the problem, the brainstorm the problem, and then we identified learning issues. The gaps in knowledge was identified learning issues. Then every learning issues was assigned to the students. So students took uh, care or they became responsible for the learning issues and also was responsible to help the other students in the group, the people group to learn. Then we created a peer Padlet. So a Padlet was created and what we created was a grid Padlet. There are various forms of Padlet. What we created was the grid Padlet. It was decided that each post, every post, or the post could be created by the students and the students would be considered as authors of this posts. So the post could be created and learning material could be populated in this post. So the intention of creating post was each learning material will have one post and this post could be seen by the other students and commented upon. Comments could be like, I didn't understand. So uh, can you explain it more? This aspect was not clear. Would it be this uh, thing? So all these comments can be generated from the other students. So it will create an active participation in the sense that the authors would be trying to make the others also learn. And they will also make sure that the others learn also. So the posts were created which were learning issues and the other students were encouraged to comment on that. So looking back, I found that this Padlet was a very effective collaborative and participatory tool. It enhanced collaboration definitely. It enhanced collaboration than the existing tool, namely the online Word document. It also enhanced the participation of the other students. The authors took ownership of their post and was intent on helping the other students learn of their particular learning material. So the comments to the post also enhanced learning. The students, the author of the post had a different viewpoint of it and it could be translated to the uh, other readers of the post. And if the reader is not able to understand it, he could question the authors again. So the comments to post was an important way of learning together. And it allowed an asynchronous form of learning, meaning that everyone can do their learning at their own time, at their own pace. So there was not rush that everything should be completed together. So they had their own time, pace and the way of learning also. However, I find that the full potential of Padlet was not realized because it probably was the first time they're using Padlet as a learning tool. And further, the Padlet has a lot of features, a lot of uh, the posts can be uh, created in various formats was not utilized. For example, the learning material as a video is more effective than as a presentation material. In audio, associated with the video helps the students understand more. It gives a more enhancement in the learning which was not ut utilized in this thing. Further, the commenting was not also up to the expected what I expected because only a few posts generated comments from the students. In the future, I expect that the students would uh, participate a bit more and understand the concepts better. However, the students were not unhappy. I found that the students were willing to try give a try to the Padlet a bit more. Right? They were encouraged enough to understand that they could use Padlet instead of the Word document. They preferred Padlet over the Word document, which was a win-win situation for me. Further, I found that the inactive students in the earlier people became a bit more active because they were author of few posts which were put up on this. So what would be my recommended steps for including Padlet in PBL learning to enhance the learning through PBL? So the first peer session, as I explained uh, before in my experience, would go on as usual. So in the first session, we explore and brainstorm the problem, identify and assign the learning issues to individual persons. So the individual persons of the people take ownership of their learning issues. The facilitator creates a grid padlet. A grid padlet is a suitable form for people which I found. So it has different, different posts which can be arranged into groups and rows. And this is shared among the group. And also, one important feature which the padlet allows is, it allows the other readers of the post to generate posts. So the permission is given for persons who have access to this padlet to create posts. And here I use the term author for the person who creates the post. Because post here is going to contain learning materials. For further information on how to uh, use Padlet, it is uh, given a link which is a YouTube link of a good uh, learning material to understand Padlet. You can click in this and watch the YouTube video. After creation of the Padlet for the students, what we do is we create a post as an example. We create a post and put some learning material relevant to the problem so they understand the extent of how the post can help them learn. And this post 
should be commented upon in this example so that the students know what is the purpose of comment, what all forms a comment can take place and how the author is responsible to exp uh, explain the uh, clarifications required in the comment or the suggestions given in the comment. Here one post will occupy one learning issue. So each post is given a title of the learning issue and it will contain learning material relevant to that post. So this is how we create and uh, uh, create a Padlet to advance the learning through PBL. And in the second session of the PBL, what they do is they explain all the learning which is attained through this Padlet. They put the Padlet on as a presentation material and each one of the author of the post explains his learning material. And this is how the learning takes place and finally they test the hypothesis this was generated in the first session and then they enhance the learning through PPL. So this is what my experience of using Padlet and I found it definitely encouraging enough to enhance the learning of the students. Hope you also could experience and evaluate this uh, learning tool and tell me how it went on for you so that I could improve upon this and create another video to explain my experience better. Thank you for watching and see you soon on another video. Bye.